Welcome, Jedis. This is another episode of Jedi Learning with your host, Bobby Kintu. And this is where we resurrect communities through superior education. And today we have another phenomenal topic that we have to discuss. And it is that of choice taken. And it is specifically never change your original choice because it's almost always wrong. Now this holds true whether you are doing test taken or whether this is a major life decision. Never change your choice because your first mind, your first heart is almost always right. I don't care if you are looking for a house. I don't care if you're looking for a spouse. If you're looking for a boyfriend, novio, novia. If you have a choice between two or more and you choose one, stick with that choice because once you switch it up, now you're working on borrowed time and you're working on a whole nother wavelength that you didn't prepare for. You've already slept on it. You've already, th already thought about it. You've already put your mind to this first choice. And then at the last minute, you're gonna switch it up and that's what leads you astray because the energy is not the same that you put into it, a wrong or second choice that you put into your original choice. So always make sure that you stay focused. Just think about all those people that we passed by when we were looking for a spouse and we said, hmm, that person could have been good for me, but I ended up with this person because either this was better for my mama or this was better for uh, my job or this was better for my social situation. But that wasn't your first choice. Now you living the rest of your life miserable, stuck with this person, sleeping in your bed, giving you bad energy every single night because you couldn't make a different choice about what you wanted to do. If you stay with your original, you could at least breathe and sleep easier. And also when you make and stick with your original choice, it's easier for you to change it later on if you feel like that's not the best for you. Once you second guess yourself and go to another choice, what happens is you feel like you're obligated to stick with it, to prove that it's right for you when you know it's obviously wrong. So you end up hurting yourself even more trying to prove to yourself and others that that second choice was better when you know in your heart of hearts that that first choice was the correct one. So whether you are looking for a home that is closer to your job or whether you're looking for a new car, always go with what your heart is telling you. Your heart will never lead you astray. You always know when you meet people who are a little sketchy and your heart skips a beat, it's telling you already, I don't know nothing about this. Let's say you met somebody who did you wrong in the past and you come across them again, your heart skips that beat. It's telling you, let's get away from this person. So why would it be any difference when you actually making a choice that counts? It isn't any different. You have to stick with it. You have to go forth with it. You will be more at ease. You will be more satisfied. And in the end, it will be easier for you to make another choice if you have stuck with that first one. You have to get into the habit of doing that because if you don't, you will be wishy-washy. And people who are wishy-washy never end up making any decisions and just stay stuck in stagnation. So you have to sit there and say, look it, this is what I'm gonna stick with and I'm gonna see it all the way through. Also, when thinking about making a choice, narrow your choices down. If you have four or five choices, two or three is much easier to choose from than four or five. And this just comes from the science of choice making, which means that the more options that you have, the less likely you are to make a choice. So narrow your choices down. That way you have uh, your heart set on one of those particular ones and you're not dissipating all your energy between three or four choices that may not be suitable for you. So once again, whether this is a life choice, such as a spouse, a car, a house, where you wanna live, how many kids you have, vaccinated, unvaccinated, private school, public school, charter, it doesn't matter. A or B, D or A, whether I'm taking a multiple choice test, it's all the same. Make sure you stick with your original choice because that's what your heart tells you to do and your heart is usually correct. This is Baba Kintu. Another episode of Jedi Learning is behind us. We hope the village has learned something from this and we hope to hear from you so we can do many more that will uplift the community. Because as we've always said, we choose to resurrect communities through superior education. And once again, this is Jedi Learning and we'll see you soon. Peace.